Alright, so right now I'm sitting down here to film two videos. One that's gonna be showing you guys how I'm filming the other video, which is gonna be the best realistic ways to grow on Twitch in 2022. So yeah, throughout this video, I'm gonna be filming my first video, and this is gonna be for the second one. The first thing I do when filming a video is I make sure that my camera battery is plugged in. Now, if my camera battery isn't charged, I use a dummy battery, and this is why I'm in this angle right here. The dummy battery I have is linked to the cable extension that is under my setup, and that I use to power my whole camera. And basically what a dummy battery is, is it makes it that you don't need to charge a battery, and you just plug it in, and the camera is going on forever. This is very useful if you're a streamer or a content creator, because you could have your camera going on forever and never need to charge it after i've done that i set up my tripod in the angle i have now mainly when i record youtube videos i either have my stream angle which is when i'm streaming or i have this angle or i have an angle that is going on my setup or one that is on my background these angles are all full of different lights and stuff that can engage my viewer like right now with everything behind me i really recommend when you're making your videos make sure to have different angles that you use throughout your video so that people don't get bored if you're using the same angle every single time it will get boring for the viewer and for yourself next up when i put my tripod i mount my camera on i get my key light and my ring light and turn them on after that i turn on my mic i make sure all of my lighting is perfect and my mic is working and i start recording but before i do all of that i forgot to mention one thing i have to come up with the idea now coming up with an idea for your videos is the hardest thing that creators do personally for me what i do is i have a notes sheet and a trello website with this, I use it to organize my time. Every time I have some free time, like on the way to, way back from school or stuff like that, I sit down on that note sheet, wear some headphones with some noise cancelling and try my best to come up with video ideas. Now, I really think it's hard to come up with video ideas when you're just sitting down talking with friends or doing something like that. But if you watch some content too, to get some inspiration, you can come up with many video ideas. Then I go onto my trailer website, which I'll have linked down in the description. This is basically what I use to organize my videos for TikTok and YouTube. I can make an assignment basically and put a date, label and other stuff on it. I have some for YouTube and TikTok. Then I have about five different phases. One for the video idea, then the video is being filmed, then it's being edited, then it's edited and ready to post and then it's posted. This is where I get to track everything that I posted and what I need to do every single day. I also set due dates on this every single week so I can make sure I've finished everything I want to do. This is really important as a creator so I don't start slacking and become lazy. It really makes everything more organized and makes me able to finish everything really fast. Moving on, let's go back to the actual filming part. Once I have everything set up, I make sure that everything's good as I said before. Then I turn on my camera, click the record button and start filming. When I'm filming, I really think of having some engaging ideas and I have them mostly written down on the trailer sheet with a description. When I film, I always explain every single thing that I'm talking about and I try to make the video as long as I can, but still keeping it short and concise. This means that if there's anything that is not really needed, I don't say it. And if there's something that can maybe make the video longer and is important, then I'll do it. After I have everything filmed, I do take my B-roll footage if I need it. Like for this video, I'm taking footage of every single different step. B-roll is basically no audio, it's just what you put over your voice like I'm doing right now. And A-roll is exactly what I'm doing now where I'm talking to the camera face to face. Oh my god. Face to camera. But yeah, after that, I'm done with the whole filming process. And now all I have to do is the worst part, editing. Now from now on, every single video, I'm gonna be timing the amount of time exactly it takes me to edit. And I'm gonna be showing you guys the progress every single video on the editing and how long it took at the end of the video. Let's see if from now to another couple of months we can get faster. Also on a side note, you can see all of my colors are red and they are basically phase themed. This year I'm going for the phase one challenge. Phase one is basically a challenge that Phase Clan has made to enter phase. I'm gonna be grinding it a lot and I'm gonna be posting so much different content on YouTube for this challenge. So yeah, if you guys wanna support me on this journey, make sure to drop a like. And if you really like my content, drop a sub. After I have everything filmed, I go ahead to my PC or my laptop if it's a TikTok. I plug my camera in. I download all of the footage and for me, I make it very organized. So on my files folder, I have a folder called content. On that folder, I have different projects that I have. So for every single TikTok or YouTube video, I make a project. In there, I have all my different clips. And I have a separate folder called effects that has a bunch of different sounds and stuff that I use to edit my videos. So yeah, now I drag everything into Premiere Pro and get to the editing process. When editing, I first of all do the initial cut, which is just where I cut everything and have it in the storyline. Then I make sure that it's all color corrected and all of the audio is perfect. After that, I start adding some subtitling, which I do using some presets, which I'll have linked down below if you want them. 
Subtitling is a really good way to start and and use in the middle of your videos because with this you can basically catch the viewer and I really think that in videos if there's above 10 seconds with no subtitles or something that pops up it really makes the video way more boring. But after that I start putting in all of the sound effects, all the transitions and everything that I'm gonna make to touch it up. Then I add the ending screen which I already have saved and I set it up. Finally I render this all out into the same folder that I had before. I go on to YouTube and I know this is kind of weird but I like taking my thumbnails after I've done everything for the video. So what I'll do is, is I'll go take a couple of pictures outside, inside, depends what I'm doing. Like for this video I'm gonna be showing a bunch of analytics of Twitch and how you can grow really fast. I'm gonna have a 2022 somewhere around the thumbnail and yeah. Then I go onto YouTube for the last step. On this step, I normally upload my videos at 3 p.m. GMT plus three, which is my time zone. I normally upload them at that time because it's really good for people in my time zone, other time zones and yeah. After that, I reuse the description and just change a couple of things. I add some tags, I do all the different settings. Then I add the ending screen to match up with what I did in Premiere Pro. And yeah, I'm done. Now for the most important part, the title. For the title of my video, I always want it to be really hooking, so I make sure to have some stuff that is important in caps lock and stuff like that. And when I'm done, I just click publish. But, 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 we're, we're not done there. We have to go on all of our socials and promote this so you can get a quick boost in the algorithm. I do this by going in my Discord, on my Twitter, and on other socials, and I promote this new video. Again, this video wasn't really something to help you guys, but I just wanted to show you guys how I film my videos so you guys can take some inspiration inspiration and maybe use some of the things that I do and yeah let me know in the comments down below if you are also going for phase five because I'm gonna go crazy on this challenge I hope you enjoyed the video on how I produce all of my content so yeah phase up